Grandpa, tell us about adverbs. An adverb is a word which tells us how and where an action is done. Is it true that there are many classes and subclasses of adverbs, Grandpa? Yes, my boy. You are right. Go through this example carefully. These cows were brought here carefully from Denmark yesterday. They are usually very good milking cows. These are the ones which I want to breed in India. An adverb of manner answers the question how. Here, the word carefully is the adverb of manner. An adverb of place answers the question where. In this example, the words here, Denmark and India are adverbs of place. An adverb of time answers the question when. Here, yesterday is the adverb of time. An adverb of frequency answers the question how often. In this example, the word usually is the adverb of frequency. Adverbs of degree answers the question how much. Here the word very is the adverb of degree. The relative adverbs are the linking words which join two groups of words. In the example, the word which is the relative adverb. Can any one of you tell us about preposition? A preposition is a word placed before a noun or a pronoun to show its relation to another word. That is right. Can you explain any of the prepositions? The preposition in should be used before the names of the countries, cities, month, year and part of days. Example, India got freedom in 1947. Let me tell about the preposition at, Grandpa. The preposition at is used before the names of small towns, villages, part of a city and time. Examples, he studied at Adayar. I will meet you at 5 p.m. The preposition on is used before dates, days, part of day followed by dates. Example, his birthday falls on Sunday. The preposition to is used before the reaching points and the words like senior, junior, superior and inferior. Examples, he went to Uti. This boy is senior to that girl. The preposition since is used to express point of time. Example, this wild cat has been kept in this cage since 2004. The preposition for is used for period of time. Example, these dogs have been barking at the sun for an hour. Children, do you know that the sentences are of four different kinds? Yes, Grandpa. Our teacher taught us about them last week. If so, can you explain a statement? A statement is a sentence which expresses a truth or a message. Example, this girl is my classmate. Who is going to explain Interrogative sentences. The interrogative sentences are the questions which demand answers. There are two types of interrogative sentences. The first ones are the questions beginning with words like what, who, when, where, whom, which, etc. They are called WH questions. Example. Who is this cute boy? When did he come here? Where does he study? What is his father? Which is his native place? The questions which can be answered either by yes or no are called yes or no questions. 
This type of questions normally begins with an auxiliary verb. Example, are you really tired? Here, the answer would be either yes or no. I will tell about the imperative sentences, Grandpa. They express a command, advice or request. Example, could you please tie this dog? The sentences which express surprises or strong feelings are called exclamatory sentences. Example, how tall this camel is. Grandpa, what are direct and indirect speeches? A direct speech is the way of quoting the exact words of the speaker. An indirect speech reports a message without quoting the actual word used by the speaker. Here are the examples for direct and indirect speeches. Direct speech. Ram said, I want to become a doctor. Indirect speech. Ram said that he wanted to become a doctor. In the direct speech, we can see the exact words of Ram within quotation marks. While changing Ram's statement into indirect speech, the following changes are made. Number 1. The conjunction that is put after the reporting verb said. Number 2. The quotation marks have been removed. Number 3. There is no comma after the verb said. Number 4. The pronoun I has changed to he according to the speaker. And number 5. The present tense verb want has become a past tense verb wanted. Children, you will have to note how the tenses change when a direct speech is converted into an indirect speech. The present tense changes into past tense. The present perfect tense changes into past perfect tense. The past tense changes into past perfect. However, the past continuous and the past perfect tenses remain unchanged. The words expressing nearness in direct speech also changes to words expressing farness in indirect speech.